In this video, I want to go through a quick CFA level one exam style question on the topic of straight line depreciation. Now, this is the most simple way in which companies depreciate their long term non current assets. So you may be well aware of how it works. Let's just make sure that you really do and you're ready for the exam. So if this is indeed something you do want to get right, please keep watching and let's get solving. This is the question which I want us to have a go at. A company has just completed the acquisition of a machine with the following financial characteristics. We've got the purchase price, the estimated residual value of that machine. So our estimate of how much we will potentially receive from its sale at the end of its useful life at the company. The expected useful life is five years. And we're also told um, about the machine's total production capacity, it's supposed to be able to produce 100,000 units. If the company uses the straight line method to account for the assets depreciation, the carrying amount of the machine after two years of operation is closest to, and three options follow. Now, we're not going to use all pieces of information here because we're supposed to apply the straight line method. Um, in a follow-on question to this one, I'm going to um, be using a different method called the units of production method when the info on total production capacity will indeed be um, necessary or required. For now, uh, what we're going to do is simply ca calculate the annual depreciation charge. And you should know that when we calculate the annual depreciation charge or the depreciation charge for any period, we're taking into account the original cost of the asset, which was 800,000 euro. And the idea is we're going to, if you imagine that this is a timeline, over the expected useful life of the asset. That's how long we expect to use the machine in our business, five years. We're trying to go from this initial value to the estimated residual value. So that's the value at the end of the five years. This is not drawn to scale. Obviously, it's supposed to be 50,000 euro, and that is the residual value estimate. Okay. Now, going from this point to this point over the space of five years is going to happen using the straight line method, so in nice and equal steps. And I just want you to be aware that in order to calculate this, actually you can figure this out yourself, the annual depreciation, let me write depreciation, uh, shorthand for this would be DEP apostrophe N, as in depreciation, would be to take this distance from 800,000 to 50,000 and spread it over the five year period. Now, just so that you know, it may come in useful in the exam. This, so basically, this distance over here on our, you know, on our little chart, this is known as the depreciable amount. Just in case you're given the depreciable amount or somebody asks you in the exam for the depreciable amount, it's the difference between the cost at which something was acquired or perhaps constructed, if it was constructed uh, by the company itself, and the estimate of residual value for how much the company will be able to sell it uh, in the future when it itself has finished using the machine. Anyways, we've got 750,000 over here divided by five. That's going to be 150,000 per year in terms of annual depreciation. Now, in this exam, we're not asked for the depreciation as such, but we're asked for the carrying amount of the asset. So at what value, at what amount will it be appearing in the balance sheet of the company after how many years? Two years of operation. So easy carrying amount after those two years is computed as the original cost, 800,000 minus accumulated depreciation for the two years. And because depreciation gets done at 150,000 per annum, that's going to simply be two lots of 150,000 
that's going to be our accumulated depreciation for the two years. And this is very easy to compute. 800,000 minus two lots of 150. So effectively, 300,000 will give a result of 500,000 euro. And this, as you can see on the left-hand side here, corresponds perfectly to answer A.